The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with Agnit Semiconductors Private Limited for the design and development of advanced gallium nitride semiconductors, which is essential for next-generation radar systems and electronic warfare jammers. Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a procurement contract with Blurg's Innovations Private Limited for the supply of Trident, which is an intelligent maritime domain awareness tool to enhance maritime security. A newly released picture shows that the Israeli MF Star multifunction ACE radar has been integrated on INS Weekrant, and INS Anvish floating test range was also seen in the background. Gujarat Director General of Police has said that a thorough inquiry has been conducted, and their records do not contain any information on the individual that was recently indicted by the US in a New York District Court. Indian Army's Rudra helicopter was forced to make an emergency landing in a village in Gujarat due to a technical issue, and the cause of the technical glitch is yet to be determined. Force Motors is currently testing an open-top version of their Gorka 4x4 SUV for the Indian Army. The production of large high-strength titanium bulkheads for AMCA fighter jet program faced several challenges, as there are infrastructure constraints for the manufacturing of large single titanium plates, and currently only one such 50,000-ton machine exists in the US that provides bulkheads for the F-35. The present solution for the production of AMCA titanium bulkheads is to weld multiple smaller titanium plates together but the welding process will introduce additional complexity and potential quality concerns, and in order to address these issues, researchers are exploring additive manufacturing, that will eliminate the need for welding and its associated challenges. Russia is seeking to bypass Western sanctions and restrictions by manufacturing unmanned aerial vehicles drones and other smaller weapon systems in India, by utilizing manufacturing capabilities of Indian private sector companies with transfer of technology. Russian defense industry has been hit hard by Western sanctions, and this move would allow Russia to continue supplying its traditional customers while avoiding direct sanctions on its exports. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is gearing up to produce a range of advanced air-to-ground weapons systems, that will be integrated on the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft, which includes the Hammer Standoff Missile, Joint Direct Attack Munition, Griffin Laser Guided Bomb, Altaric Precision Guided Weapon, and the Indigenous Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon. A team of Russian experts had visited Indian Air Force's No. 3 Base Repair Depot to work out the modalities of MI-26 overhaul program. The overhaul plan will be finalized by mid-March, and the overhaul work will be done at No. 3 Base Repair Depot, that will be completed in one year of signing the contract. The vertical launch unit of VLSR SUM has received some minor changes, and a test is expected within the next few weeks. The vertical launch unit is mounted on the ship deck, and will support and launch eight canisterized missiles from warships, that is designed to intercept and destroy supersonic sea-skimming anti-ship missiles aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles at a range of 50 kilometers. Today's top 3 comments.